we presented in a panel looking at advanced oral cavity cancer. My specific uh, task was to cover operability or define operability in oral cavity cancer. So that's a very uh, important issue in oral cavity because the moment you say a patient is inoperable, that means uh, almost equated to that incurability. So that uh, criteria is very important. So I was trying to uh, highlight uh, which patient should be considered incurable and uh, inoperable. So I was looking at some of the issues uh, we are facing currently in oral cavity uh, cancer. I highlighted that uh, it's important that we should have a different subside based staging system. So every T4B tumor, so-called considered to be very advanced and uh, inoperable, uh, should not be same in different subsides. For example, a tongue cancer going to the infratumbral fossa is totally different from a cheek cancer going to infratumbral fossa. And we have shown some data to show that uh, in a cheek cancer going to the infratumbral fossa, it, we can get fairly good uh, local regional control by surgery. So that was a theme I was trying to, to uh, explain. There are guidelines, but guidelines mostly exist in the early stage tumor. For advanced T4B tumors, we don't have a guideline, and it's important that we develop guideline. So in this panel, there was a di different discussions about uh, giving alternative therapy like induction chemotherapy and so on. But there are data to show that that modality doesn't work. Doesn't work doesn't mean that uh, it is the right answer they have given. What that shows that they, uh, in most of the study, they lump different uh, uh, tumor stages together and gave given chemotherapy and we got diverse uh, result. So uh, we need a uh, definitive study looking at the subsite with a particular stage and then ask the question uh, what are the what are the guidelines to, to develop. That needs to be developed. That is one of the proposal we had at the, at the end of the meeting and uh, that need a collective effort collective effort not just from one investigator or from one country need a multi-center, multinational uh, type of uh, trial. Late stage, that's right, yes. If you look at uh, anywhere in the world, almost 70% of uh, oral cavity cancer present with advanced stage stages. Now, uh, that is uh, more pronounced in the developing countries. That is where the high uh, prevalence of oral cavity, like Brazil, India, Southeast Asia, and so on. So those uh, countries should uh, take the lead in, uh, in running those studies. But at the same time, to make that result meaningful to the entire world, other uh, countries also need to participate. Majority of the cancers are uh, caused by risk factor is fairly well defined. Uh, in uh, that varies from different country to country. In uh, Brazil or India and Southeast Asia, mostly by chewing tobacco. In India and Southeast Asia, not only tobacco, arachnid also plays a role. So that uh, that is the primary factor for developing oral cavity cancer. In addition to that, we have smoking and alcohol. Alcohol plays a less important role, but smoking and uh, chewing tobacco and arachnid are the primary uh, factors. The main thing is that uh, uh, not all the patients currently staged as uh, inoperable should, more, should not be triaged towards, uh, uh, towards uh, uh, inoperable tumor. It's important to look at subsite and see which uh, tumors uh, needs to be uh, considered triaged towards uh, uh, resection rather than uh, triaging towards palliation.